Hello everybody and welcome back to Galactic Science 2. So at the end of the last episode I sort of failed to make these blocks. But I have sort of think I've got everything ready. So at least I know how to do things between episodes. So let's see what we can do straight away. So basically I've got the, the recipes for crafting all of these blocks down here, haven't I? So what we also need to do is to get some ore converters. Let's just change this. I want the view for craftable only. Craftable, good. I want to look at blocks. Okay, good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to craft one of each of these. Start. Gold we don't need. We've got plenty of that. Iron we don't need. Lead we do need. Next. Start. Um, I'm not sure I can do this one at the moment. Start that. Yes, we can. Because we've basically got these crafting things going through here. There's only one at the moment. So let's go back to the uh, blocks. Redstone, we certainly don't need silver. Craft one of those. Copper, we will need. And tin. And we also need to make some other bits and pieces. I'm not sure what I can do at the moment. Let's have a look for stone rods. No, I haven't set that recipes up yet. So we need to do that. So the recipe for those is what I'd like to do next is to have a uh, probably make some more patterns. Let's look for the make of those. Ten of those. Start that going. So what I'm going to do is to go back, I've got a crafting recipe and I want to make a stone rod. Rod. Oh, I've got a lot of recipes in here, probably because of fluid. Let me just get rid of that. I was looking for something else. Look for a rod. Ah, difficult. <laughs> What was the other thing we needed to do as a frame, wasn't it? Less pages with this one, but uh, still might be awkward. Something like this. What I basically want is the one from Tinker's Construct. Oh, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do the easy way. Let's make a stack of those. So two is not a stack. That's very strange. Ah, oh, because I'm on the other terminal. Okay, good. So, that's actually one recipe we want. And the other recipe we want is this one. To make a casting frame. That was that one. Let's have a look for patterns again. We've got our 10 patterns good so what we want to be able to do is to craft those up so let's go downstairs and see what we've got here i was playing with um this i've got aluminium coming in here and it's going down but it's not coming into this machine i don't understand that i'm gonna look at that in a minute um so what we got here i think we've got some space from this one let's make a rod and a casting frame and then we want an ME interface on the side of this, which I don't have with me. But what I've got here is an ME crafting terminal. I upgraded the terminal that was down there, and I've created a crafting terminal. We'll put it on here. And we'll say that we want... Um, what do I want? Brain's gone dead. Um, oh, ME interface, don't I? Let's craft 10 of those. Ah, five. So when we got one of those, we can start to, to, to put it down. I think I want this type as opposed to the flat one. No, the flat one will do fine. Make a flat one. Oops, let's clear that recipe off. So basically, what I want is an ME interface on here like this, and. I want to connect that up like that to this 
And on the other side here, I want an ME. Um, I want an ME export import bus. I've got those already made. Let's go upstairs and get those. They're probably in this chest here. Probably got everything I needed in this chest anyway. Yeah, probably. What's that? Micro crucible. Yeah. Well, actually, let's do this as well. Let's get these dense refined plates going as well. Plates. So I want to craft 64 of these. And I want to craft 64 of these. Let those get on with while we're um, doing other things. In fact, what I'll do is while I'm here, I'll take the other crafting, it's not in there, I'll take the other crafting CPU out of the box here. We can put this down there like this. And we can make sure we have a third crafting unit. Normally you would hesitate to do this because your power usage is high. But what we've got in this system is we've got tons of power. We use tons of power and we've got tons of power. So what I did here was the ME import bus. Like that. And then we cable this one up. Let's move that out of the way. Try again. So now we should be able to automate this. So what we're saying is we want a block of oops, I didn't use the wrong tool in it. So what I want to say is I want to get a block of aluminium of the right type. Block of aluminium from Tinker's Construct is the one we want. And we want a block of aluminium from Foundry, I think, is the one that we've actually been using in the past. I think it's Foundry. Let's just double check it. Techraborn. It's aluminium too, yes. I'm not sure which one we can up oh, too many. Ah, oh, so it's a tech reborn one. Okay, good. In fact we'll leave this in here, we'll convert those to tech reborn, I think is the one we want. Anyway, what we've got to do is we set up a recipe in here that says that we're going to make from one frame actually we're gonna make a block of aluminium. I know that sounds a bit strange. Let's just do it. So in here I've basically got one block of Tecraborn aluminium in here and it's going to be a process pattern and it's going to make one block of Tinker's Construct aluminium like this. Uh, but I don't want that recipe, I want the frame. This one. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, it doesn't matter what type of aluminium we've got, does it really? Let's just take this out of here like that. And then come downstairs. So on the ME interface here, I'm going to put this recipe in. And that's going to make one aluminium from Tinker's Construct. And we're going to do that from here. Let's just do that over here. So we'll look for aluminium. You see, we've got two different types we can craft. So this is the one we want, the Tinker's Construct. Let's just craft 10 of those. So that's going to make 10 of these frames in total. OK, let's start that. What's going to happen is that they're going to come into here like this. It's casting frames. But we haven't got any aluminium in here yet. That's a pain. So let's just clear this off here, because this doesn't seem to work. I thought it would export the items down and I don't know what these blocks down here at the bottom are for so if anybody knows I haven't found anything about it there's very little information about extra cells actually so we want an ME export fluid bus which will be this one and I think this one's already got aluminium set up in it if needed it has and you'll see that these are going through here and they're feeding up here and the export of these is going to be the red side here so that's going to go out here into the system so we come back here now we should see the aluminium we've now got 10 of the tinkers construct ones so the next problem we've got is we would like to um make 
an ore converter. So let's have a look at that. So the ore converter we want is this one. Okay, and it's good. basically to do that is we need all of these items, which we should have, plus one ore converter. So what was I missing? Look at an iron iron bar. Let's just craft ten of those. An iron ingot, I meant, sorry. Put that into the system there, and then let's make our ore com automated ore converter. Like that. So now we can put this down here. And what we're going to do with this, so I'm actually going to put it down right beside the other one. Oops. Like what we can do with this is we can put in it the different ores that we want so we want copper oops wrong that's not what i wanted to do at all i wanted to put in shiny metal lead i want all the, the thermal foundation ones basically that's four there's another one which one is it tin industrial craft So annoying when you can't figure it out. Oh, I haven't got any. Let's go upstairs and make some. Quickly. We can use the manual converter for this. The stuff is fairly straightforward. We want the thermal and the tin box where... Where have they gone to? In fact, the foundry one, so we will get rid of these as well. We want the techno born one. That one shouldn't go in. Oh, it does go in. Look at this. And you get different types as well. I should get rid of all this aluminium, can I? So good. Got rather a lot of it. There we go. Right, sorry, now I need the tin one, don't I? Where's tin? So we want the tech, we want this one, the thermal foundation one. Right, good. So I want to put those into these automatic wall converter here. It doesn't need power, that's quite nice too. So we want one of those in there, and we want one tin. Like that. So all we need to do now is to set up a recipes for these and up an interface. So we've got an ME applied interface in here, which we can actually put on this side. Let's make this flat. And then from the other side, we can, or maybe from the top, we can actually export the stuff out again. So we'll click the import bus on here like that. And then we'll okay, well, I think it'll work this way. Good. So if we put in, say, copper, it'll get flicked into here, taken, and it should go out of the system like that. Good. Fantastic. And it's going as the right type. If I pick the wrong type of actually I could even put one of those in there. I don't think it'll work. We can't do it like that. So that got converted to foundry. In fact, you probably better put the tech reborn one in there because I'll do it that way around. Yes, good. That would then get imported into the system. So what we can now do is to set up these recipes. I hope we can set up these recipes. Because what I did haven't done is kept a block of the original materials. Well done, that man. Block of aluminium from foundry, I think, is the one. Let's get rid of these. Tech reborn. So we can. I don't need that one. Block of nickel. Block of platinum, this is the one we do need. So let's set this up as a process recipe. So one of these tech reborn is going to make one shiny. That's one of the recipes. Good. Hard work this actually. The next one, let's look for tin. Oops, I messed up. 
move the mouse off the spot here. Oh, we have got one tin block here. Let's put that into there, and that's going to make a thermal foundation tin. What did I just do? That's rubbish. Leave that back in there, and then just clear that off and put in one. And then update this, and that sets it correct. If you didn't know that, that's one way to get rid of. I don't want that down, I want that up there. That's interesting, I shift clicking it puts it into the pattern terminal. I didn't expect that to happen. It's a bit strange, that. let's do it this way, it's probably easier. She's not taking the whole lot in one go, that's also interesting. Very strange. So we've done these two. What else do we need to do? We don't need that. We don't. That's shiny. Yep. Tin. So we don't need those two. So we don't need iron. We don't need gold. We don't need this one. We want silver. We need one block of silver. We need lead. Have I only got this incraftable? I have actually. Let's just change the view. Ah, okay. Aluminium, I think we haven't set up yet, so let's set that up. Hold on, I think I have set up aluminium, haven't I? Shiny lead copper. Something strange there actually. Let's talk to copper block. Copper block, set this one up. I ain't doing too well with this one, I've got to be honest with you. I do apologise. It's actually awkward. So what we got here? All right. Let's move the ones we've got fixed out of the way. What's going on here? I'm shift clicking and it's going in there. Oh, the pattern tunnel. Lead was another one, wasn't it? Okay, one of these. Mix one of these. And the fifth one will be silver. Funny. Don't ask me what I'm doing wrong, but there we are. Look at that going. Oh, is that full? My E2 system full. Is that the part of the problem? Let's have a look. Uh, it could be full. It's certainly looking very full anyway. So that's part. Of, maybe that's what's part of the problem is. Wow, I didn't expect that had to happen quite so quickly. So then we've got these recipes here, so let's put them in. So now we should be able to craft out of the system the right types of materials. Okay, good. What I haven't shown you is I have figured this out um, in here. So let's get the blocks out that we actually need. So we do need, I'm going to get rid of this, well, what do we want to get rid of in here? There must be something I can get rid of. It'll give me a little bit of extra space. Those two, possibly. Let's look for numbers. Uh, descending, no, I want descending, don't I? Ah, one torch. One piece of, these are not very good to have those in the system actually to be honest with you they fill it up for no good reason
Okay, that'll do for now. I should be able to work with that. So let's have a look. Sorry again. Let's see if we can block. So we've got shiny from thermal foundation. Take those out. We've got lead from thermal foundation. Take those out. We need eight of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make the space for the eight, which is here. So we've got gold. That's weird. It doesn't so whole stack of but iron. Tin, silver, we've got now technical. We don't want that one, we don't want the lead one either. We want two more to go copper, forty two, and aluminium. From Tinker's Construct, this one. And that should be enough now to make the, what we need to make. So, what we can do in here is we can either put it in here, and I'm going to shove them straight in because there is a problem. In fact, I want to show you the problem. Let's make the recipe for this now, or the pattern for this. Let's clear that one off. So, for the um, tungsten plating this one we need 10 copper of thermal foundation let's get that ready okay we need 10 blocks of aluminium from tinker's construct like that move that over there we need move this up actually while I'm thinking about it. Next one. Ten blocks of tin from thermal foundation. Silver tin. I've only got five. I'm going to, have to make more. Why have we not got more tin? Oh we have a look probably wasn't made at the time I was looking at that so we've got 10 of those good I thought we had everything 10 blocks of gold that, uh, that goes up there next one 10 blocks of lead Five blocks of silver. Next one. Five blocks of shiny. And the last one is 20 blocks of iron. Okay, so that's what we need move those out of the way and put that let's come over here and put that into the machine over here I've got more than I need I know but if it makes two it makes two I don't care it'll get up very fast and we'll be left with these items in here but we should now have one tungsten plating recipe in the tungsten plating in here like this we've got the one so that means we can make, make the recipe unfortunately this does not work and I well I think it didn't work it didn't work last time when I was testing it and I don't know why but let me show you what we can do here so here I've got a, an interface I've got another ME interface on me so how good let's put this ME interface down here like that and in, beside that let's put a chest which I don't have with me in fact I'm going to get rid of these items on here that, that I only have a few of so we don't need to keep this with us and we've got a chest in it we'll take one of these now what we would expect to happen put this chest down here 
put this recipe into here okay and we ask it to make one I'm just wondering if it's got a problem with everything being full let me get rid of this stuff out of here just to make sure that it's not a problem of capacity so it's quite useful having just a few items of things right so now let's craft one of these so that's what it tells us we've got to do quite a few items but it shouldn't be too much crafting plants 2000 uh, well 2500 bytes so let's start that so if we now go down have a look it's starting to make stuff isn't it in fact it's scheduled 10 of those we could actually even go downstairs and watch that in progress if it's already done i don't know let's double check it no it's still scheduled So in a few seconds we should see this come through here as an item. Difficult to actually see when it, it was a little light up at the front one too. Let's double check what was going on here. So what's it doing? Tin blocks. It's crafting lead from these. So I would expect this to go down as we're watching it. In fact it seems to be Stop. Or maybe she's out of date. I don't know what's going on. That seems to have stuck somewhere. Where could it have stuck? Got lots of cobblestone, shouldn't be a problem. Nothing in there. There should be anything in here because there's nothing to to make yet. I did see something move then actually. It might be something else. Lead. Lead is stored. Let's go and check the lead downstairs. I haven't forgotten some things important like a an ME interface or a storage bus on lead. I don't know where it's going to be. So what would you go in here? Nothing. Because that's empty. Fine. Oh yes, that's doing hyperphosphate. This is not the right row. I want to get on the right row. It's here. The first one should be nickel. That's platinum. That's aluminium. That's copper. That's tin. That's iron. That's lead. It's got plenty of lead here, so it should be okay. So lead ingots. Let's check these down the bottom here. Oh, they'll be on this row, of course. Gold. Lead. So, it sh I have seen this before, but things actually, there's nothing in here. You know what it is? I think it's because my ME system's too full. So, let's go upstairs and get rid of some more of this stuff that I've got on me that I don't need. Well, I'll say I don't need. We do need these eventually. And I'm going to try to remember where they are. In fact, to put those upstairs and to the top one, because that's where I keep the A2 stuff. Got the leather, we got that, we don't need those. Can't even take it out. Oh, probably because it's crafting. Let's cancel the crafting recipe. Two gold ore, so okay, I'll take that with me. Potions. Quartz class I need. Hoppers I probably don't. Leather that one. 
So let's try that again. I think that should oh, see everything being yellow in here. So it's got some types in that now. We've got some space. So that's good. So we maybe we can maybe that was a problem. Let's just try crafting that again. Start. Let's have a look. It seems to be stuck on something. But doesn't tell me what it's crafting at the moment. Lead, tin. You know, I do apologise. I don't know what's wrong. Let's go through these one at a time. Tin blocks. Let's see if we can make tin blocks from the right type. Let's so tin. It was nine of those, wasn't it? So ten minus one. Next start. Doesn't seem to be working. Let's cancel the first one. Now that's working. As we can see, that's no problem. So that recipe is okay, I think. that's working it's a bit slow I'm not sure if it's slow because I've only got one thing in there but that seems to be working yes I agree you agree with me I'm running out of time here again okay so it's done okay that's done so let's go again next start it wants more lead in here. That's strange. Let's start that. Let's go and check over here. Well, that was tin last time, wasn't it? Lead. Let's just try doing lead. So we need 10 lead. Cancel this one off. Let's go back over here and look for lead. Thermal foundation. Check it out. Well, that seems to be working. It just seems the automatic craft is a bit slow. Okay, so that's no problem. That's working. That should be making the aluminium. That's a bit of a puzzle, that actually. I don't understand what's happened. It's working nicely, it looks like it's working nicely. So now that's scheduled. What we'd expect to see is all of these have been stored into the chest. But the problem is, from what I can see, there's nothing in the chest. And I don't know why. It doesn't matter what I do here, I can take this out of here like this. Oops, I just put those into the system. I didn't want to do that. Let's just take the like that. Let's change this to a flat ME crafting interface so then it becomes a little bit more obvious as to what's going on and then put down the cable here put into that the recipe for this one and see what happens. Nothing. Let's go and check the crafting recipe and cancel it and try it again. Cancel that. Back to the terminal one of those start check recipe everything stored nothing scheduled 
It should do something. And I don't know why it's not. Nothing. So if you have any ideas, let me know, because I'm a bit stuck on this one at the moment. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode or learnt something from it, because I have. So until next time, bye for now. <laughs>